So, Betty Dotson. Yes, darling. Do you believe there's such a thing as sex addiction? Oh, if I only had it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> please, God, addict me to sex. It's, it's just a way for these guys to bail out of their indiscretions. I know. Steve Phillips from ESPN. You save your job legally after sleeping with a 23-year-old intern by saying, I'm going to rehab because I'm a sex Now, addict. here's the thing. She probably wanted to sleep with him just as much, and I don't sleep. Well, that's fun. She probably wanted to have sex with him just as much as he wanted to have sex with her. Yeah. And it doesn't mean that because he's, you know, the boss or she's an, an, an underling that that is some kind of an abuse. That or creates the desire, though, sometimes. It's the whole <sighs> fantasy, <laughs> you know? It's a tiger, poor old tiger. I mean, a oh, poor old tiger. God, I'd love <laughs> to get the, the kind of sex that he's getting and that body of his. Ooh, you yeah, like baby. so buff. <sighs> he's such a bad boy. I know, I know. I love him. I never liked him until the scandal. Exactly. Now I think he's really cute. Take your hat off to Tiger. I mean, he's a young billionaire athlete traveling the world. Beautiful like, body in the top prime physical shape. You're never going to be there again. You know what I mean? At 50, 60, it's so not the same. if sex rehab gets him off the hook, which is what I it is. I think it is, because Nike didn't drop him. Okay, there you have. So now if you get caught having sex, it will be called sex addiction, and you don't have to lose everything because you're sick. <laughs> I kind of like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, think of it. It's, it's kind of a... It's a way out of a, a lot of problems if you like sex and you get caught. It's the ultimate excuse. I couldn't help myself. Honey, I love you. It's not you. It's my sex addiction. I just need to go to Palm Springs now and <laughs> in a rehab facility for several weeks with Dr. Drew. And, boff, and a whole bunch of other and sex boff, addicts. <laughs> <laughs> and boff all the sex addicts that exactly. show up. All the orderlies. Woo! <laughs> and then I'll work out my issues. Potty time. Potty time. There, there is such a thing as um, a sex addict in that they can't get out of bed, they can't go to work, they can't... They get so compulsive. Yeah. But one of the, my complaints is that sex is not a substance. And addiction is usually used in relationship to some kind of a substance, like alcohol or sugar or salt or over-the-counter meds or the pharmaceutical crap they're pumping into us. Those are addictions. The only thing with sex you could get addicted to... I think, is they say that you're acting out your past abuse and or you're addicted to what? The endorphin high, the oxytocin. Yeah. They're natural and they're in a natural release in the body. I don't see how that could be wrong. I guess if your genitals start chafing. <laughs> you know. Well, you, little, you know, put a little cream on it. Although I've done that myself, <laughs> masturbating so much I chafed my clit once. Really? Oh, it was awful. And it was like, I hadn't had sex in a while. I was like in between relationships and I had like a two-hour session and then I chafed and it was hurting. And then right at that, like, a booty call came to town and we went to hook up and it was too sore. I couldn't really enjoy myself. Well, there you have it, folks. The whole idea mm -hmm. of, of substance abuse is real. And there could be such a thing as a person who is, it has compulsive behavior. Now, I'm not going to call a compulsive behavior an addiction. It's a psychological pattern. What is it? that? Look at all these names that we throw around that we have no really understanding of what they mean. If you could get addicted to sex, I'd want to do it. That's all I can say. I would love it. But it's not true. I fight to have the next orgasm. I'll do everything else first. And that's where we're all at.